someone, a young person, has died doing the, a teenager, doing the uh, spicy chip challenge. Do you know the spicy chip challenge? Uh Uh-uh. It is Mm -hmm. on YouTube. Oh, yeah. Uh, This kid is 14 from Worcester, Massachusetts, died Friday. Family said it was due to complications from eating an extremely spicy chip. We've heard people do that, right? You just take a really, really, one... Very, very spicy chip. It's known as something. It's got that. It's been pepper. around for a couple of years. It's the Pocky chip. Okay, right. And it's one chip you get either in the store or mailed to you. Mm-hmm. And the whole thing is, can you eat one? It's the one chip challenge. And so the question is, because the moms of the teenager said it's because of the potato or the chip. The, Are the spicy doctors chip. agreeing? Well, that's we have one doctor. Just briefly, TikTok doc. TikTok doc says. It's possible. It could cause um, difficulty with breathing. I think it could cause issues with the esophagus. They are doing the autopsy. The results are pending. So we don't know yet if that's really what caused it. But you'd think there'd have to be like some sort of underlying condition. I mean, can a chip kill you? Be that hot? It could cause swelling of the... I guess if you're super allergic to something. So well, it's got that ghost pepper sauce on it or well, something? Well, I mean, it's supposed to be the hottest chip ever, mm-hmm. period. The one chip challenge. Yeah. And people have, like, tried to send them to us to try. Yeah. They've tried to send it to, you know, oh, you should do this on your food podcast. Mm-hmm. You know, and I just have no desire. I hate, I, I just don't like that kind of stuff. I don't like spice. I hate spicy. I like spicy I like things, spicy. but I, I don't have any desire to eat the hottest thing in the world. I, yeah, I mean, I'll put a little. Uh, spicy and hot are two different things. Put a little Chihula sauce on there. Well, it's Chihula. Okay, put a little. Uh, <laughs> put a little Frank's, Frank's Red, red Hot. Frank's Red Hot Frank's on there. Frank's Little Texas Pete. Little Texas Pete, that's fine. Crystal. The rooster. The rooster sauce. The sriracha. A tiny bit of that. Uh, that you know, uh, I, I tried to like good. it. I tried to like it. I tried to like it. But all this ghost pepper, habanero, super duper hot, here's how much my mouth can take, challenges, the hell with that. Do you think that it's possible that just a regular, normal kid, anyone, could have swelling around the, or or, uh, trouble breathing because of a hot chip? I I don't know these things. What what do they put on them? I mean, what's the, is is there more, is it a chemical that's in there too? Who knows? Is it just peppers? Is there something? You know, in the the, the scheme of the universe, I suppose we have to say Mm -hmm. it's possible. Mm -hmm. But I'd be shocked if a chip killed a kid. Everybody's body has it. Everybody's makeup and body has its limit. So you think it is putting things into your body. You think it is possible then? I think it's possible. It's one chip. That it's only one well, if you're under oath, you'd have to say, yeah, it's yeah, possible. Yeah. But yeah I, I, what I pictured was him eating and then inhaling or something where it just, and he just couldn't catch his breath and then almost sending himself into like a cardiac arrest type. You thing. think the dust got in his lungs or something? He couldn't take it? Yeah. I just picture him hacking in just his heart, you know. Mm. Uh, maybe. And what is this? Is it a potato chip or a. It's, a, it's like a tortilla chip. Yeah. Like, okay. But it's got a very spicy. It's, you know, pepper okay. on it, the dusting. And it's one chip. It comes to you in a box with just one chip. We've had them in here. They have been sent to us. It's called the One Chip Challenge, and we didn't do it. And these legal? I mean, yeah, they're okay. Yes, you can yeah. do this. Well, yeah. They've been sent to us to do. Yeah, they're f- from a from a company that makes it. And, uh, I mean, it went viral a few years ago. People tried to do it, call it and then would drink milk. And, yeah. you know, very difficult to do. And now... A teenager has died right after doing it, and of course his mother is like, this killed him. I would think. Randy, you're talking about the one chip challenge. You've done it. Can you describe it? It is absolutely to the point of being unbearable due to the heat that comes in, and the challenge is to do it without anything to drink. Uh, Okay. So I wonder if he did it and didn't drink anything. So it's unbearable for how long? Well, after about 30 minutes of eating it, there's a burning that happens inside your gut as if literally there's fire in there. Man. Oh, man. And you did you do it without drinking anything? Absolutely. Man. Is it the dumbest thing you've ever done? No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Should we leave it at that? <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> well, listen, after you hear this story, do you think it is possible that someone could die simply from eating one chip? I think it's possible. Yeah. Uh, well, none I of get, us is a doctor. Why? No, we're not doctors, but uh, I, you know, something that tears you up to that extent. You think there's so much anxiety after you eat it that your your heart races so much because be, one, be. you're nervous can't and you're your scared. Breath. You can't catch your breath. You're maybe. Would you ever do it again? Oh no, no. Had an opportunity, but negative. No. Copy that. All right. Thank you, <laughs> Roger. Thanks, Randy. <laughs> Appreciate it, Roger. Randy. He's Randy lives sick. his life, man.
out there. Yeah, but <laughs> Patrick, you're talking about the one chip challenge. Go ahead. Yeah, I've seen it before with another kid. Um, usually, it's an allergic reaction, but like a small pepper is one thing. But whenever you have such a stronger, basically, it multiplies the allergic reaction. If that makes sense. So it's mm. possible he's allergic, and then it multiplies because it's such a strong pepper, and that uh, maybe you never right. know you're allergic yeah. until you right around it. Do you have it? Because well, you're not going to eat it except once, right? Man, thanks, yeah. Patrick. And it's not an everyday Mm-mm. food. Maybe it'll last it's the once in your life. You hurt. I mean, it's a once in a lifetime. Yeah. I didn't even want it. I told Biggie get it away from me. Get, I don't, I don't, get it out. Get it out. Yeah, yeah. I don't even want it. I, I just Has don't. BB Shea had one. Would he do that? He doesn't like spicy things. I've seen this man. If he gets a he gets too hot of a Dorito, he'll start to sweat and be like, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, does he? Uh, <laughs> yeah. I didn't know. I mean, I can. I used to be somebody when I was younger, and I, once again, just pretending. I'd be like, oh, yeah, I want it. It's hot. Give me something. Spice it up. It was always wings. It's not worth it. Yeah, I've done wings. It was the hot. Let's have a, oh, yeah. Let's try it, and it's just not enjoyable. It's not enjoyable. You, you, it's like you want to be Mr. Bravado. And then by Mr. the end of, BS. for me, it wasn't any good. Some people, I think, really do like that. Some people do. Really hot wing, hot sauce, hot wings. Mm-hmm. But I would do it like, I'm man, mm. and I can eat you. I can eat. <laughs> Yo soy macho. I can eat this. Mucho wing. macho. But the truth is, what you said is right. It, it, to me, it ruins the taste. You know, it's not enjoyable. Yeah, and for a lot of guys, it's not the taste. that They want to try and prove something. Oh, it's all it is. I, well, I mean, for some. A, for some. Yeah, yeah I, I agree. We used to have a guy that worked here. He loved that. The hotter, the better. Couldn't get mm-hmm. hot enough. But I think he legitimately enjoyed it. Yeah, I think he may have to. I do. But He's then, one of those, but they're rare. But then I would go out. Like, there used to be a restaurant here, Laredo's Neon Cactus. <laughs> yeah. You know Laredo's Neon Cactus? I remember the cactus. <laughs> <laughs> Slept under those tables. <laughs> <laughs> did they know? No, you did not. <laughs> they find you in the morning? Well, I woke no, up under them. <laughs> <laughs> no, you did That place on Thursday nights? Yeah. Well... See, oh, I, forget about it. Listen, forget about it. <laughs> people always talk about the parties on Thursday nights at Laredo's Neon Cactus. Now, but I, you were gone by six. Oh, I was gone by eleven thirty a.m. I went. I went to. I went after the morning show. I'd go get my lunch at ten thirty. I would. But I, the point is, I would eat the okra with an attitude, which was jalapeno pepper <laughs> dipped into the hot sauce, and deep I, fried. Deep fried yeah. jalapeno peppers dipped into a sauce. Yeah. And I would say I was enjoying it, but really I can't breathe. It was too hot for me. It was too hot for me. That was one of the greatest menu items ever. Okra with an attitude. Because it was really jalapeno pepper. Well, really. I don't know if they stole it, but that is brilliant. It's good. I don't know if that's a real uh, jalapenos aren't even really that hot. You know, in the grand no, scheme I, of things. No, if when you look at the list, yeah. it, it's towards the bottom. Uh Scott, you're talking about eating peppers, hot peppers. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. I used to do the uh, pepper eating contest over at Tanglewood, the chili cook-off, and, and they put th- uh, fist thermometers on your forehead, and uh, if your temperature got up over 102 or something, it, you were out. But I would look, look around, and people would be broke out in hives and uh, coughing and gagging and actually having allergic reactions to peppers. And some of them had to go over to actually go up to the uh, ambulance to get checked out. Wow. But yet you still went to the hot pepper eating contest. <laughs> well, it was the dumbest thing I ever done. Cause there we go. Hey, all right. <laughs> okay, yeah. there it is. Okay, that's the dumbest thing. That, the ever. thermometer on the head is a brilliant touch. That is. That's smart. Yeah, if you could see it, if they have like a display above everybody's <laughs> oh, yeah. head that He's you a, could see where everybody's at. He's at 102. <laughs> a lot of people won't sponsor You're out. No, no. <laughs> Thank you. We'll be back here, Coach. I can do it. Thank you, Scott. <laughs> Lawsuit. Good story. Uh, Evan, you're talking about eating hot things. Go ahead. Yeah, I did the, um, not the hot chip challenge, but the hot ones wing challenge with some friends. You can order all of the sauces. And there was a few of them that caused me to have a involuntary muscle spasm with my breathing uh, almost immediately after eating them. And I, I think that's, you know, maybe what contributed to this person dying, uh, you know, just like uh, Biggie said, was, you know, them going into a spasm, not catching their breath and their heart being yeah. exerted. and. You know, I've been at other restaurants where they have hot wing challenges and people will start vomiting and, you know, it's your body's reaction to try and get this, this almost like a toxin out of you. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's did right. you make it through all the, the challenge? I did, yes. Yeah, they were um, manageable and bearable, but uh, there was a few of them that were really hot that were lower on the scale or spectrum that 
I, I don't know why they just seemed more hotter mm. than some that were supposed to be the hottest. Mm. Yeah, maybe it's your makeup. Your Every time I see that show and hear about that show, I, you just have to tip your cap to the brilliance of the concept. Mm -hmm. C celebrities. A-list celebrities will come on the show and eat 10 wings. That's right. Yeah. Increasingly hot. hot hotter wings. and hotter wings. And answer and, 10 questions with each, one question with each wing. It's yeah. brilliant. It's very smart. It, it really is. And I think people, like all these, they love a challenge. You know, let me try it. Let yeah. me try to eat the hottest thing but I can. But he's probably right. He that When people eat these things, when they die from them, it, it triggers off something in their body, something else. Mm-hmm. That makes them. Oh, it's yeah. not. It's not. It's not just that food. It's. It does something to their heart or their lung or. Yeah. Their liver or something. I think so too. Josh, you're talking about the one chip challenge. You've done it now. Go ahead. Yeah, Chris. Uh, long time P1. Thank you. Called lots of times. It's my first time getting in. Yes, sir. Um, I've done all the hot ones, sauces. I've done the one chip challenge twice. Uh, it's still probably the hot, and I can do hot. It's probably the hottest thing I've ever had. Um, me and two friends did it the first time. Uh, within 30 minutes, one of us was puking, and the other two were sick to our stomachs the other way. Mm. Um, it's no joke, man. So I can I can see where somebody maybe if they inhaled the dust mm -hmm. and got in their lung because it's a scorpion pepper and ghost pepper uh, powder that's on the the Dorito chip. And I'll tell you, man, it ain't no joke. Do you eat the whole chip at one time, or do you take little bites? Uh, we put on gloves and break it up into pieces so that it doesn't touch your lips. Uh, you don't want to touch your face, your eyes, your privates. You don't want that anywhere except for in your mouth. I get it. You can't do that. That's exactly right. Why would right. you want it on your tongue? Does it, do does it blow up the instant it touches your tongue or even before it touches your tongue? I mean, I don't know. You get an initial burn, but then it just stays with you, and your eyes water, and, yeah, you want water, you want milk. Mm -hmm. And the whole point is to not, like yeah. a previous caller was saying, is, you know, you try and go five or ten minutes or whatever and not drink anything, and it's hard to go five minutes without something to drink. I'll bet. You've done it twice. Will you do it one more time? Are you done? What's that? You've done it twice. Do you think you'll ever do it again? Uh, Yeah, maybe. Peer pressure, you know. I mean, yeah. I'm not afraid of it because I've done it twice now. Yeah. So it's just like you're just you're just miserable for like 30 minutes, really. <sighs> That's too much. It's a lot. Yeah, that is a I, scorpion pepper to hell with that. Thank you, Josh. Appreciate it. Good luck to you. <laughs> yes. you try it again. Alex loves to eat hot things. Have you done the one chip challenge, Alex? Uh, me and my friend, yeah, my friend Adam and I, we've, we first off, good morning, gentlemen, sorry. Good morning. The, uh, we've done about everything that you can do hot-wise from Satan's Toe to the Little Nitro Gummy to the One Chip Challenge. Mm -hmm. Everything you can think of. And also, I'd like to say, like Biggie felt yesterday with the uh, the gentleman that had never had nicotine, the guy that wore gloves. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking the same thing Biggie thought. But, oh, man. Um, Ouch. Ouch. Yeah. The, yeah. Little, the little nitro gummy bear, that's hands down worse than the chip ever thought about being. It was so bad that uh, when it made its way through my body, there was blood with it when it came out. Good <sighs> Lord. I've never heard of this one. I haven't either. Nitro gummy. A nitro yeah, you, gummy. Look. Yeah, look up the nitro gummy and Satan's toe. Satan's toe is a sucker, and it is... <laughs> absolutely terrible but the little nitro gummy bear was probably hands down we've done we've done the death nut challenge too the, the peanut those are bad but the little nitro is the worst is there so, a store you buy this at that has satan's toe and the i like death Satan. nut i bet you get them online i imagine you have to order them online satan's toe <laughs> come on we have satan toes over here yeah. we have death nuts over here whatever are you in the satan toe all right uh, <laughs> what are you here for no, uh, who ordered the satan toe <laughs> Oh man! Who ordered the devil's dawn? Justin. <laughs> I gotta look up. There. Justin, one more quick call up. Go ahead. Hey guys, P1 from Alpharetta. Thank you very All much. Right. All right. So back when I used to work in the kitchen, back in my restaurant days, we had the actual uh, capsaicin, or what, however you pronounce it, which oh, yes. is a pure liquid. Yep. Yes. We would take we would take toothpicks and we would dip it in it, and we'd walk up behind somebody while they were cooking on the line, and we'd stab them in the in the arm with it. Um, your arm would go numb. <laughs> oh my God! And so, 
And then so, and then after, and then when it got like late night, because we also had a bar attached to us, I would walk out to the bar and I'd like give it to the regulars to make them try it, mm-hmm. and just watch them sit there and drool and cry and sweat. And it was good times. Yeah, it sounds like it does sound fun. <laughs> It sounds really great. We'll do that in the. Uh, yeah. I just, I've just seen a photograph of Satan's toe. Oh, in- <laughs> as have I. There it is. <laughs> the well, the label it. says the toe of Satan. I would. It's I'm, a candy. I'm not oh, sorry. That. I'm sorry. I'm not eating that. I'm I hope he worked at a high end restaurant. It's a candy. <laughs> Me too. And, I hope it was uh, somewhere fancy. Yeah. That he would come up and somebody Stand. do that. What's taking so long in my dinner? <laughs> It makes oh, the, the chef is preparing it. The chef's arm is numb. His arms are dangling. Yeah. I can't flip anything. <laughs>